So today I'll be making some uh, Vellerika Kichdi. We can use uh, instead of this some white pumpkin as well. And uh, I will be using half of this. Uh, we require some grated coconut, turmeric, cumin seeds, garlic, uh, one shallot, and some green chili. This depends on the spice you require. Then we need one nice full bowl of homemade curd, which has to be thick and a little sour. And then comes the final seasoning ingredients. We just got some shallots here, whole red chili, mustard seeds and some fenugreek seeds and curry. And a spoonful of uh, coconut oil. If you don't have coconut oil, you can use a regular sunflower oil. Salt, which you can add to taste. Step uh, of the preparation for kichdi, you see the white cucumber being cut into small thin cubes okay and which is ready to be cooked so you can add a little bit of water uh, when you add water see that uh, it just covers the cucumber not too much just to the to the level you can add a little bit of salt salt can be always added to taste later and goes uh, into the gas and add a little bit yeah more so this needs to be cooked for at least five to seven minutes uh, till uh, till the um, you know cucumber becomes uh, soft when you press through the hand it should not be too um, mashy and uh, so there it goes with uh, the cucumber being cooked uh, meanwhile you can again see the ingredients the coconut uh, paste uh, well, the, the grated coconut which we saw in the ingredient uh, is ground to a nice smooth paste and uh, with a little bit of turmeric and that gives the color. It has to be really smooth uh, uh, when you grind it and you see the curd here. You beat it nicely so that there is no lumps and uh, see that you don't add any water when you beat it. You can use a whisk uh, to uh, you know you see curd. this uh, cucumber is ready where we can add the coconut paste uh, uh, to it. Uh, it is, it's nice and soft. At the same time a little bit crunchy. Okay, so uh, you can reduce the flame and add the coconut paste. Here you, we can use a little bit of water to so the consistency is this. You can see the consistency here. It becomes a little more thicker once uh, you know the the, the coconut and the, the cucumber cooks cooks for another five more minutes you can check your salt if you want at this uh, point uh, and leave it for another five minutes and uh, here you see now it's ready uh, the 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 coconut uh, uh, the paste which we added is ready the raw taste is uh, disappeared and uh, so I switch off the gas here and it's time to add the beaten curd and once you add the curd we have to see that it is uh, we have to stir it constantly without uh, a break in fact so this is the consistency of uh, thing you can uh, uh, you know if if you don't want if you want it to be a little thicker more you can always adjust it to the water you added uh, you know while cooking while adding the coconut gravy you have a, a little bit of fenugreek powder you can uh, just sprinkle it and continue your stirring uh, you use a small seasoning vessel here and uh, oil is hot enough uh, to add the uh, ingredients to be seasoned so I'm adding first the fenugreek seeds and the mustard seeds once it starts crackling it's going to increase the flame 
enter the price tariff some kali once it's kind of half done is uh, when you add the whole uh, red chili because uh, you want to retain the red color of the red chili otherwise you can also have an option of adding it right in the in the beginning itself this is uh, one of the very typical uh, uh, you know uh, step of the whole recipe which gives the flavor uh, to the kichdi um so you need to constantly stir so the onions uh, are uh, uniformly cooked in whole red chili the uniform browning of uh, the shells also depends on the way you sliced it that also has to be uniform now it's ready so once you put it it has to be immediately closed for a chili and after 2 minutes you can use a nice spoon and goes to be served with my